Welcome back, everyone, to Cranston, Rhode Island. We're here at Bolero Cranston with the champions of the turbo driven to bowl at Neba over under doubles. It is no other than none other than high qualifiers Chris Monroy and first time champion Stephen Major. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. I, I don't think there was a person back here not absolutely rooting 100% for you guys with the heart that you showed. You were down in a couple of matches. You came back. You were high qualifiers. Chris, I know you've been working so hard in your game, been working with Chris Forey, trying to get your elbow in, that straighter roll. You had that voodoo forward roll. It was so beautiful to watch. And I want to go through all that with you, but but uh, let's first celebrate Stephen Major, who has Thanks. been how many times in the finals? Uh, have you have you been? Uh, once actually, it was uh, EP with once Alex and Kevin. This so was Alec. okay. So that was my first time in the finals. Didn't pan out, and this was my second time. But how many other things have you won in this region, in this area? And I know you just won the I ninety one thing literally yesterday, right? And and you've won tats, and you've won. Other things Axis, you've won. I, Axis, uh, not the tat. You've won. Okay, no Axis. We have a few net. guys going out the next week. Net. Anyway, my point is, you you you've been so good for so long, and I think between you, Danny Q, Kevin Tebow, uh, and Aaron Major, you know, the, and your cousin, you know, yep. the question is, who is going to who is going to win? Who is going to break through? Yeah. And it's you. Congratulations. So well, I just Aaron, won, uh, that. Aaron won first. So I know Aaron, Aaron won, won the non. Yep, I know, I know, but you guys are breaking through. So congratulations. And Thank you. So anyway, take us through. Let, let's start with the last match. So you guys were not, you were, you, it was within, you know, Joe, uh, Jimmy had a chance to get up and strike like in the sixth frame, literally, and make it a, a, a single pin match or, you know, three or four pin match. Right. And you guys just turned it on at that point. What was different about the pair? You know, we had first hit that pair. Uh, we had not hit that pair since qualifying, right, of course. So how did you guys make the adjustment to get the last? You both, you know, basically punch from the from the fifth, right? Or um, so we were we had very good communication throughout the entire day, and we just communicated pair to pair. Um, basically ignored what we did in qualifying and just tried to identify the differences um, each lane. Um, obviously, we struggled. Uh, actually, I struggled a little bit on seven and eight. Um, whether it was the approach or lane seven was hanging a little bit, lane eight kind of hooked her, was a little bit over yeah, under. Yeah, right, all the right lanes down there we were observing, you know, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve, all the right lanes were hooking more. It's yes. Like, yeah. Um, and we just had a consistent game plan going forward. The first couple of frames we just tried to identify um, how much we had to move in. Uh, the pattern created ultimate shim, basically. Mm -hmm. Um if you were able to kind of throw it over your left toe, there wasn't a point in which I thought my ball was going to bro go Brooklyn unless I got it there early and the ball would check up. Right. So we knew that there that was kind of a trough. Risk on, especially on the right lane. If you got it to the right and it checked, that's the Brooklyn. But right. other than that, it would just lay off. Right. right. And just, yeah. um, so I used that ultimate shim balling up and just letting the ball kind of roll forward instead of sideways off the end of the pattern. At that point in frame six, that's kind of what we did. Moved in, kept my eyes in. I was crossing the arrows at about 22, 23. Mm -hmm. And after that, it was just watching the ball shape up down lane. Yeah, fantastic. And you were with, a, there was an altered reality at the end, yep. am I right? About uh, that? The altered so, reality, yep. Yeah, so a little, little bit of speed at the, flippy at the end, right? You know, give you a little bit more. You know, work the shim. You don't want anything rolling and rolling out on you. You want right. something with a little back end. Yeah, something so. with a little bit of pop to make it up the hill down lane, 40, yeah. uh, 47 feet. Uh, yeah. I can't remember the volume, but I think it was like 25, 26. Only 25. There. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And so it was really concentrated in the middle. Right. But it was flat across. Not like it was a big shim. Right. It was just, That's just where there was a flat a flat piece of oil. And yep. outside of that, there was a little bit less. So, yeah, you had to generate a lot of that shim. You really had to play it right to get the shim. You play it correctly to, to get the shim. Yeah, and I mean. you guys did. From the gate, Chris, uh, Chris's ball roll was immaculate, really was uh, very tumbly off the spot, wasn't very erratic, very controllable, and just created a really good blueprint pair to pair all day long. Yeah. Well, I want to ask you about that, Chris. So your, your release um, is really notably different since working with Forey. Um, to, to me, having known you for so, so long, I think it's been more your elbow is in and cleaner. Your fingers seem to be more at... If you were to look at the clock, more like 7 o'clock as opposed to maybe 6 or even 5 before. And you're so clean through the shot now. And you get that tumbly forward roll. And you, you were able to use pretty much the same ball all day as far as I know, right? So I, I used uh, the New Brunswick Attitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I, I think really just the trick was keep your eyes in, let the let the oil on you know the shim in the in the oil in the, in the you know in the, the fourth arrow fourth arrow area, just basically feed the ball to the right. You, you didn't have to work it hard. You didn't have to do a lot of things. But I think the more you try to throw it to the dry, the more over under it looked. If you just kept your eyes in and just let the ball fall back and just stand up, that's all you needed to do. Mm -hmm. um, so really. It actually felt like the way I was lining up, that my shoulders were really closed up. But it's like, basically, it's just because I'm like, I was standing like maybe 35, but I'm looking at like 25, 27 down the lane. Mm -hmm. And I naturally drift left. So when I throw it out that way, it just rides the oil and just stands up in the right spot. That's all I did. Yeah, I, I think we observed that your break point was like 16. Right. In the pocket 17. So, right. <laughs> so literally it would roll right to right. it and then just turn right to the pocket. And the, but it yeah. didn't lose any power. I mean, the ball rolled through the pin so, so and, strong. And the thing is, on 11 and 12, 11 had – it just wobbled a little bit. You know, at, at the break point at the spot, it just was – it just like – it just shimmied. Or it, did, it was not the same as 12. So all I did is I just tried to open my hand a little bit and just give it a little bit more at the bottom. Um, that – big split I left that one uh, was four a good nine. shot off my hand it just checked up so I just made another like three and one end four nine right yep. just, four yeah, four nine. Nine. just a little high in the pocket right. I mean it wasn't even like you threw a bad shot it was right. just a touch high in the pocket yeah but uh, that was I mean like I say I couldn't have asked for a better doubles partner I mean I'll be the first to admit I've been really struggling bowling wise I mean you I hate to say Bruce you remember Walnut Hill when we crossed together and what happened the last game there and sure. it cost me and uh I've really had very little confidence as of late, and even though I'm trying to work through it, and uh, like I say, to have a really good set of eyes, a very encouraging voice behind you and Steve and everything else, uh, I couldn't have asked for a, be a better doubles partner, and I'm just really happy to be a part of his first title. Well, that's fantastic, and it's so amazing to watch. We have some <laughs> gymnastics going on behind us here, so be careful. My God. Um, yeah, I mean, Chris, I mean, I, I, I've known you to have a work ethic second to none, quite frankly, I believe, in New England. Uh, every time I'm out there practicing in Auburn, you're there practicing, and I think you make it a habit pretty much every day after work to go and at least bowl some, you know, and I know you're so on top of your equipment. You're a wonderful rep for, for Hammer and the whole, you know, all the Brunswick brands, and uh, so I just, you know, nobody earns it more than you do, and I know, and, and when I watch you have self-doubt, it, it's, it's hard for me because I know how hard you work. I know how much you've earned everything that you've won, and so I just, I, it's so great to see you win, and, and it's just fantastic. It's, it's been a real struggle. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie, since my coach passed away in November, it's been very hard to That'll bowl. That will be Mark Roth, of course. And by yeah. the way, Denise, I believe, is on the live stream today. So, it, Denise, today. if you're there, um, yeah. you know a little conversation we had uh, about a week ago on Facebook Messenger. And uh, let's just say thank you for uh, the little kick in the seat that I needed. Uh, you know that I know I always take your words with the very best of intentions. And... Uh, to Mark up above, thank you. I know you were watching over me on this one. Ten pins fell, which when they normally don't for me, so thank you. Well, you had a couple of really nice ten pin kicks out there, slap tens, exactly, uh, late tens, you know, nudgers, you know, things like that. And, uh, and I don't think any of us watching were surprised by any of those because again, the ball was rolling so strongly through the pins. There was no deflection. There was no late slow. There was really no slowdown. It just kept rolling just right through thank the, you. you know. So it's just. It was really that, and it wasn't even voodoo roll. It was just perfect end over end roll, right through the pins. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Bruce. You know, and your axis tilt was a little more than his. You know, we could see it. You know, so you'd be spinning it through the front more. So you would you'd be a little bit more subject to some over under and a little bit more flip and things like that. You controlled that very very well as you always do. So it's a it's a work in progress. Um, I am a strong believer that we are products of our environment. I grew up in a center with a lot of friction. You know, Saturday mornings really didn't oil all the time. You know, they, you know, some weeks they did, some weeks they didn't. And, um, you know, growing up in that, you kind of develop this, you know, thumb down, um, kind of try to clear the fronts, watch your ball kind of bounce off of something, go through the pins right. But, you know, especially as I've begun to kind of branch out and bowl outside of New England, whether it's in the PBA regionals, whether it's uh, going to nationals, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go this year, but, um, you know, as I've ventured out and bowled in other centers where friction isn't kind of a guarantee in the front, um, you learn that you have to be able to manipulate your ball roll to be just competitive in all those environments. Absolutely and that's true. the Absolutely biggest true. goal that I fight for myself is I don't identify with one particular organization, whether it's, you know, 
you know, Axis or Neva or a regional or wherever, it's it's the drive to be as competitive as it can be in those arenas, and I think that that's uh, something that's kind of begun becoming fruition. I've had a ton of conversations, and just a couple of people I want to thank, uh, John Van Hees, um, a Alex Aguirre, Kevin Tebow, you know, the whole StrikeFX team. We constantly well, and we're so thankful for StrikeFX and for their sponsorship and all the great competition those guys have, have provided us, so we can't. I, I echo that times 10. Uh, thanks so much to all the guys at StrikeFX and everything they've done. Yeah, so. I, a lot of inspiration there, you know, the people that I strive to be and, and beat, you know, how vain he's attacks, you know, every aspect of his life, whether it's his job or um, bowling and just listening to him. You could listen to him for hours and then um, Alex's motto is throw it better, you know, so, you know, <laughs> just God gifted talent, you know. Well, he's right. Throw it better. And you throw it better, you strike more. Yep. So. Anyway. Um, I want to thank my mom, too. Um, okay. Yeah, I want to thank my mom, my grand, my grandparents. Um, any cousins you want to thank? Any, I do. I want to thank left -handed Aaron. Left-handed cousins, by yeah, any chance? Absolutely. I want Just to thank Aaron. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, cons constant support behind me. Um, I look forward to bowling with him tomorrow. Uh, kind of ride this wave of, of momentum. Um, you know, th there's just so many people that I want to thank, and I'll get to there, but I just want to process it for a minute. Well, and uh, I would like to say that uh, next year, you and I will be, I will be president, you will be first vice president of NEBA. Yep. So they're trusting us with this fantastic organization, and I hope you feel, as I do, that I'm very humbled by stepping into this position, and I think we have a tremendous organization behind us, um, and as they say, first do no do no harm. <laughs> so no. I think you and I, uh, I'm really looking forward to working with you on that, and uh, I'm 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 just so honored to be work with you and all the entire board to be part of NEBA and looking forward to next year. And I think we can I do look some forward fun to things. it as well. Among other things, the thousandth tournament. So we're going to have some fun uh, with that. Yes, I guarantee you. So we'll have some fun anyway. Yep. Looking forward to that. So Chris, I also know Mary was watching. Uh, there was a message that came in from your kids in some code. And I'm sorry, I, it came in last match and I didn't see it. Uh, but Mary, if you want to punch that in again, we'll ask. It was something about your kids or something. They, they were asking to, uh, to do a slime kit. Thank you. That's <laughs> it. Okay, thank you. So <laughs> if I could I saw it. I didn't remember. I was watching the match and it, it kind of came <laughs> screaming by the screen and I didn't. I, what pro is yeah, I promised to do a slime kit with them. Does a slime kit relate to burnt toast <laughs> on, your <sh> on your <laughs> shirt? Do those things go together? Do you slime the burnt toast? I actually, I've actually been doing very good at not burning toast lately. I mean, oh, you know the burnt you. toast joke. You know, it's like, you know, McMonroy's burnt toast. Uh, but if I, but if I could just, for all seriousness, um, for a second, I just want to, you know, I just want also, if I could, give a couple things. First of all, to uh, all of the sponsors of NEBA here. Um, Again, for Rotogrip, you know, Storm, and uh, Global 900 for the support of NEBA, for AMF, uh, AMF Cranston, uh, Bolero Cranston for, uh, for hosting us and give us a really good center, to Dan, you, and all that you guys do. Personally speaking, to Dave Wadka and the Brands of Brunswick for having me on staff now for an 18th season. Um, thank you to my wife and my kids all support. And Mary, uh, Mary says, thankfully, uh, the house is still standing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I also, seriously, I don't want to uh, forget to acknowledge my coach upstairs. Uh, thank you. I miss you tons. And uh, his wife, uh, Denise, obviously. And um, just thank you. It's been, it's, been, it's been really hard the last couple months. Well, you're a great champion, Chris. Thank um, you. Fifth title. Uh, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, Becky and Danny and, of course, uh, Debbie. Debbie and uh, Danny were here working the tournament today. Uh, everybody behind the scenes. Um, Thanks to uh, Chris and Brian for sitting in with me today on the live stream. You guys bowling doubles tomorrow, I assume. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm bowling with Aaron. Okay, super. And you, are you? I'm taking a little time off to clear my head because honestly, this was honest. Winning a NEBA was honestly the last thing on my radar. <laughs> being I, I, I was actually going to take a couple of tournaments off to clear my head. I know I'd a couple. I'd I, I, know, bowl I actually know a couple of people looking for partners. Uh, if you might want to change your mind. <laughs> I, no, no, I, I nothing, nothing clears your head by like like winning and dominating the field. But no, I seriously, I not only promised uh, Nicholas and David that I would do their slime kit, I also promised to take them bowling tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. I'm not I'm not going to turn back turn my back so, on my so kids. So new, new rule: those two can enter as one doubles partner, and you can go ahead and bowl the doubles tomorrow with the <laughs> kids. 
No, I that's can, what I presidents and first vice presidents do. See, that's what we'll do. We'll set that I can up never say no to my kids. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, good I for you, man. I love them to death. You're a great family, man. Congratulations. Thank you. And great to see you and Mary doing so well. Thank you. And, uh, again, congratulations to both of you. Title number one, title number five. Thank you. And uh, you guys will get to defend next year. Absolutely. Right? That will uh, absolutely. That should absolutely. be fun. And uh, you guys enjoy that. I've had the pleasure and, and luck to do that with Andrew. And there's nothing like it. it really so and maybe you'll do it in, was it November or October? August. Aug which is the one where... Which is the doubles tournament that it's you're sponsoring? So the one I'm sponsoring is in uh, it's in uh, September. Okay, it'll, oh, be at, uh, it'll be at uh, Auburn. Yes. And the rule is you can bowl with two champions can bowl together. And so uh, maybe you'll have that moment with Andrew again. I'm hoping. Wouldn't that and, be special? And, and there's some relationship between the sponsorship and being able to bowl with. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just a coincidence, but uh, that's actually. So when you you get a little sponsor's privilege when you do stuff like Absolutely. that, and I'll be the first one to admit it. What it's I what I care about now more almost more than anything else, bowling with Andrew. He bowled great today, and he's he right did. next he to bowled. you. He's like, yep. you guys are right next to us. And I yep. thought the I thought I didn't even see you guys coming. You just were sneaky, crushing it. You know, just you know coming up there and uh, high qualifier. So a lot of lot know. of good communication yeah. today. That's fantastic. From that's, the gate, th there's no better domination of a tournament, guys. You 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 high qualifier win the tournament. The, you win. That's it. You it win. Great, Thank and, you. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Congratu great, great going, you guys. Thank you, Bruce. And, uh, Thank thanks you very much, Bruce. Thanks for sticking around. No, our pleasure. Have a Thank good you. evening. Chris, enjoy your time off. You good too. luck tomorrow Thank there. you. Thank and, you. And uh, everybody out there, we'll see you tomorrow for the Grog Monster Doubles with GMS Concrete Added Money and uh, 9 o'clock squad and 12.30 squad. Uh, again, you'll be able to re-enter on that tournament and check out Neva for rules. And uh, we will see you here tomorrow at Cranston. Good night, everybody. Take Thank care. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you. Thank you, Bruce.